Hello everybody, welcome to the video. In today's Light Medic uh, Did You Know video, I'm going to revisit the edit feature. I did a really poor job in my last video covering this subject of actually going into detail and showing what it can and cannot do. So let's first go, I will show you the hotkeys. Just need to go in and search for edit. Now in covering these, I will go top to bottom um, in order I'm only going to reference the descriptive part of the name. I'm not going to call out schematic edit break place all for every function of this. So as you can see, they're on screen right now. Let me go ahead and I will take, I'm going to turn off the overlay. I'm going to turn off the translucent and we're going to work with this loaded schematic right here. And later in the video, I will show you how to take this and do something a little more like this. Now, ignore my ugly edits. I did that for demonstration purposes. But as you can see, we've basically removed everything from down below. And that brings us to the first hotkey, the break place all. Uh, before we do that, let's, uh, the basic edit, if you left click a block, it will delete the block from the schematic and anything inside of this selection area if you right click you can place a block now i'm not currently selected on this and you can see that the bounding box is red we actually need to in order to use the hotkeys we have to have it selected so you would go into schematic placement and you would click on that schematic itself and now you can see that it is blue and i am ready to start editing well the first hotkey, like I said, is the break place all. So if I wanted to break all of the grass, uh, I can actually do so. I just hold down that hotkey. Uh, again, all of the hotkeys require you hold down a key. I suggest or recommend that you only use a singular key in your key bind when setting them. Um, if you use like control one, control is used elsewhere in the mod so it can actually cause adverse effect uh, moving on let's go ahead and I want to remove all of the grass and I'm while holding that key all I need to do is left click and then I can remove everything and you can see all of the stuff is being deleted from the schematic as we move along now if I'm holding that key and I right click I can it, it, this is kind of an adverse effect um, there would be scenarios where you could actually utilize this but if I right click with a block in my hand, it is just going to fill all of the empty air space with that specific block. Let's go ahead and reload this one here. So it's back to the norm. Uh, the next hotkey, the break all except, well, say I want to see only the stripped log here in the build. So I can hold down that hotkey and I can left click on it and it's going to remove every other block from the schematic and show me just those block uh, simple enough right i'll go ahead and reload this again all right the next top key is break place direction so if i want to this one is kind of a two-step so if i want to change these stairs to cobblestone stairs like the ones i have in my hand if i hold down that hot key that wrong hot key there sorry if I hold it down, you can see you have options. You can click in one of these five directions. If I click here, it's just going to, that was a right click. It's going to place it until it meets the end of the schematic. So now I need to go ahead and remove all those. And if I want to place these going over to the left, if I hold this down and I just left click here, it's going to add a new layer and put it all the way to the end. So I need to remove those. I would then need to left click and remove those and then right click a little more up to the top to have them upside down and then they will go in until it meets the next different block type well the as you can see that is a spruce stair that's a spruce stair um, it, but it's a different orientation that's why it doesn't delete or remove it so i can go ahead and take those back out and i can put the spruce stairs back in there all right, the next key is the replace all, which this one ignores block type. So if I want to replace every one of these spruce stair with, say, this stone block, I can do so. I can just hold down that key, 
if I sorry and then right click with the block in my hand and it will replace every instance of that spruce stair all right the next hotkey is the replace block well this one requires you to be holding the same block see these are spruce stair right here if i'm holding down that key i'm right clicking with the stone in my hand i actually cannot replace that so it has to be a similar type so i can replace all of these with stair and it will replace that regardless of orientation everywhere in the build no matter what the last one is replace direction and this is also based on a block type so if i want to change these stair here to through stair and i hold down that hotkey and you can see that i get the varying selective side so i can left click here and it will actually replace those it's a better use of the directional uh, break place direction it will actually replace the existing block as you would assume it intended so the naming is slightly confusing but it's tolerable we can get through it all right say this is the build uh, ugly as it is obviously and you want to remove all of the land and everything underneath here well you can see that there's stone in the build there but if i go down here and i use the break place all hotkey and i left click on the stone well now it has removed all of the stone in the build up here everywhere that it existed and that kind of breaks the build so what we can do to negate that let me go ahead and i'll reload this and let's say all of these regardless of everything like this is our little stone igloo we've got we want to keep that in the build I don't want to lose anything. I just want to remove all of the earth and everything down below. What we can do is change our render layers to negate and remove any layers we don't want to be affected by our hotkeys. So I'm going to set it to all below. I'll set it here. And now, as you can see, there is this. If I can page up and down. Okay, there's the first, the bottom layer of our little stone igloo over there. I'll page down one more here. And then I'll just start removing layers of blocks. And you can see just by holding down this hotkey and clicking, we're removing everything down below. And that's how you can actually achieve that goal there. Now, this stone structure I took out has a lot of different orientated block. Um, you know, walls attached to on one side stuff like that so it would be a tedious but achievable goal nonetheless and then if we change our render layers back to all you can see our stone structure is still intact it did not get deleted when i deleted all of the other stone an easier far more simple means of isolating just the house the structure that you want in your build would be to create a schematic from a schematic within the world. So I'll go ahead and I'll reload this and we'll turn that one on. I'll go ahead and turn these off. Let's go over here and you can see I have a floating island with a house on it, but this is somebody else's schematic I downloaded. All I want is the house. I don't want the floating land or anything around it. So what we can do is I've already made a selection around it and i can save this schematic from the world itself but i'm going to edit just a few things here i do not want the leaf block in it so i can hold down the break place all and just left click on it and remove those from the build simple enough and i don't want any of this stuff over here so we'll just start clicking and everywhere that that block itself exists it will be removed okay there we go and just a handful there that's simple enough here we'll even do this there we go now i've got it isolated all i have is the build i want to give it a point of origin so that when i load it into the world it will actually be exactly where i want it so i've just named it structure let me turn on manual origin 
click on move to player to make sure it is currently at my feet and you can see the box has appeared there so now we go into save the schematic and you'll want to check the save from schematic world box and then just click save and you can see now i have the structure here and i'll go ahead and i will load this in and i'll just load it right here doesn't matter and then i'm going to hide the other schematic and you can see all i have is just the house itself loaded into the world and that's a new schematic that we've created from a schematic this also works in normal mode selection where you're afforded the ability to do multiple sub-region selections so if i go ahead and i select this here you can see that i have multiple selections done over here and that is part and parcel of this storage hall that i have and in the storage hall i didn't want any of the fascia when with my new selection i didn't want the glass floor at the bottom all i wanted was the redstone bits i did end up having to select this floor here i could have done an additional selection and eliminated it but there is some redstone right here that i wanted to go ahead and grab so just for sake of ease and time i went ahead and selected the entirety of the floor so i will go ahead and i've already loaded this into the world oh no i haven't i took it out of the world so let's fly up here a little bit and i'm going to go ahead and turn off the other stuff here so that we don't have it messing up our visuals i'll load this into the world and you can see now i've got a schematic of a schematic uh, a new schematic and it is a multi subregion selection schematic and i can configure it and turn things on and off so if i don't want the water streams and everything i can turn off the bulk of the redstone down below i can turn off the non-stackable processing and now the only thing we see is the multi-item processor main floor section right there well that's basically it in a nutshell as uh, simplified easy to go um I hope you understood and followed me along quite well. Thank you for watching to the bitter end and you have a great day.